As new dreams are born and hopes are lived, so too are American Memories Continued. American Memories Continued, an original audio series, is brought to you with love and commercial free by The Fingerprint Community Global, moved by greater to believe bigger. Advocatus Ecclesiae Publishing, perfecting the distribution of hope. And by the ongoing monthly support of friends, community members, and sustaining faithful partners like you. Our theme music, Proudly Western, was composed and performed by Jay Mann at www.ourmusicbox.com. We're thankful and humbled that you've chosen to tune in regularly for your favorite episodes of American Memories Continued. Not just stories told, memories lived. Today's episode is entitled, The Best Storyteller. Let all of your cares go for just a little while. Listen closely. Prepare your heart to be stolen. You now have a front row seat, and this is family time. American Memories Continued begins now. Movies, poems, musicals, and plays, they all have something in common. Let me ask you, what's your favorite song? I'll bet it's about love, or the love and belief of something. Does it stick in your heart and cause your spirit to soar? Each of these things that I've mentioned uses its own method of telling a story, and that is what they all have in common. We love stories because they allow us to peek into someone else's world and to see how they live or deal with the issues of life that confront them. Speaking of issues, I can recall a dire situation with a store owner in my neighborhood when I was a teen. I remember it like it was yesterday. It was a health problem. Now my intent here is not to be offensive when I say this, but the gentleman was a little overweight. I made it a point to mention that fact because to me, he wasn't so big as to cause him to have the kind of problems that I understood him to be having. Out of respect, I'll only say that there were now growing concerns about his health affecting his legs. The other concerns begin to get a bit personal. There were several stores within walking distance in our neighborhood, and this was a mom and pop store, with pop being the person that we saw up close and personal the majority of the time. Even the few guys in the area who tried to be bad boys respected him. He respected us, and usually took time to talk to us about the facts of life while ringing up whatever we were buying without missing a beat. Now, as I said, it was a mom and pop store, but it was somewhat common knowledge that mom was, shall I say, the force behind the operation. We didn't see her much, but when we did, everyone, including her husband, gave her the props that she deserved. Times were changing, yes, but the store cosmetics, inventory, and business flow were beginning to tell a dead giveaway that something else was wrong. There were even rumors that a new owner was considering a buyout. Now we knew the owners by first name basis, and I'm not sure if the last name that we called them was actually theirs or if it was just something that we made up because it sounded close enough to the real thing. Yeah, you know how teens can be. (laughs) 
I'll leave the names out. If you're anything like me, I believe that you can genuinely care about people and hope the best for them without ever really knowing their names. Apparently, things were going downhill. It even got to the point where the store didn't open according to posted business hours. And in some cases, on some days, not at all. My group of friends actually were concerned. We'd known the store owners for years, and a couple of us had even had part-time jobs there. No one had a personal or home phone number to get in touch with them, so we had to rely on the updates that were received from one of their relatives when someone would come in to open the store for a while, on and off, to keep up appearances, as we made it our business to walk that way, hoping to catch someone there. The faithful few of us never gave up hope, and one day, as we made our rounds to get word of his condition, there he was. He had visibly lost a lot of weight and seemed to still be weak from the battle, but didn't hold back that he was glad to see us. We were glad to see him too. We knew that it wasn't going to be business as usual, but no one spoke of it. A few months went by, and sure enough, someone else did buy the store. He had dropped a few hints by telling us that because of his age, no family to take over, and ongoing health concerns, that they just weren't going to be able to swing it, and that they were even possibly thinking about moving out of state. We heard rumors from unreliable sources about mom and pop's decision to move, but most of us chose to brush those stories off and remember them as the leaders of the community that they were. During their time in the area, they took over the building next door to them and turned it into an ice cream shop. They had even joined with other business owners and helped to make the area what it was while they could. My group of friends shared some of what we knew with our parents, and they said that they were truly sorry to hear about the health problems of the store owners. They reminded us that the way that you live your life and the way that you care for others, well, that is always going to be the best storyteller. If you're exiting the studio, please watch your step. For those who are tuned in, we now return you to your ordinary day. We truly hope that you've enjoyed spending this time with us. Our goal, with your help, is that the American Memories Continued Experience grows to become America's new favorite pastime, serving you and your loved ones wherever they are. What? Did you want to say, young lady? Go ahead. Make sure to become a fan and a supporting partner and listen to our full episodes. Click the links below and follow us on Twitter, Facebook, Medium.com, Instagram, and YouTube. And don't forget to give us a thumbs up, leave a comment, and subscribe. Give American Memories Continued to yourself or to someone that you know. Thank you for listening. Thank you to our veterans for all that you've done for us. And truly, we thank you for your ongoing support. Until next time, God bless. And now, a preview from another episode of American Memories Continued. Our parents taught us that you politely say no thank you when you're visiting someone else's home and they offer you something to eat. I guess it was the proper thing to do. 
With my friends, I formed music bands and singing groups. So we all began to spend a lot of time around each other's houses more and more. Now there was this one time when on the way back from hanging out, probably window shopping for some musical instruments that we either hold.